I just picked up this um, muffin tin from the Dollar Tree. It's by Cooking Concepts. I already took the stickers out. And I'm going to wash it. And I'm going to be making this Betty Crocker wild blueberry muffin and quick bread mix. So, yeah. See how this turns out. It requires three-fourths cup of water, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and two eggs. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, I am now going to use some of this country crock and a clean paper towel that I just took off the roll. And this is how I um, grease my pants, but I got this over here. There you go. Yeah, that's how I do it. I think it's not a whole lot of butter. It's a decent amount. Perfect, actually. And my hands don't get all greasy. I have the, sorry about that. <laughs> I have the oven warming up. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'll work on the batter. Okay, so these are the wild blueberries and um, it says to drain the blueberries, rinse, and set aside. Stirring with the muffin mix, water, oil, and eggs in medium bowl, just until blended. Batter may be lumpy. Gently stirring blueberries. Okay, so that's step number two. We're going to do that now. Okay. And I'm going to open this to there and drain it. Drain the juice. Just like the instructions say, right honey? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Finish opening up the can. And there go the blueberries. Now it says to rinse, so we are gonna rinse the water. I'll do this like that. And that's the reason why I didn't take the lid all the way off. And now, we mix this in with the batter. Okay, I already added the 3 fourth cups of water and the 1 fourth cups of vegetable oil. Now we gotta get the two eggs. Okay, now we're gonna add our blueberries. And that's it. Now we're just gonna mix them in gently. Almost like folding. And we don't bruise up the blueberries too much. There you go. And we're done. Now it's time to pour the batter in. Gently. <laughs> you know what? I don't like making a mess, but sometimes it just happens, you know? Right, babe? Nothing can be done about that. You just, <laughs> just clean up afterwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know me. I'm, yeah. Professionals. Yeah, that's sometimes not a good thing. See? But, it's okay. And there's going to be batter left over because this is only a six muffin tin. So I'm going to Place it in that other pan that I've got buttered over there. Whatever's left over, and there's going to be a lot left over, plenty. And this would be nice with a cup of tea, coffee, you know, milk, whatever you desire. Batter in my um, this little dish, baking dish, baking pan, with you, however you want to say. Right. 
Every bit of that goodness. It's gonna be pretty bitter, but that's okay. It's gonna be like a blueberry cookie, huh? <laughs> Actually, it's gonna rise. Good. Okay, now we're gonna place these in the oven. So, come back to this brown one. In about 15 to 20 minutes, come back and check on this. So, see you in 15 to 20. And yeah. There you have it. It's the muffins and a little bit that I put in the round pan. Um, let you know how they turned out when we take a taste. We have to let them cool down, of course. So I'll be right back in a little bit after they've cooled. You have this pie saver here. What I'm gonna do is I can um yeah put the lid on this saver and um I'm gonna remove the muffins from the tin. Okay, so I have this Tupperware bowl there. I'm gonna See if I can remove some of these muffins gently without breaking them. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, easy peasy. They're still slightly warm, but nice. Like if I were to um, break one in half, break one open, you'd see steam coming out of it. It's a little warm. So I'm taking a chance here. But Beautiful. Like that. Mm. There you go. And this goes in the sink. Blueberry muffins and something we can cut up. And this is how we're rolling. A nice hot cup of strong coffee, just like I like it. And let me try out the little blueberry muffin. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yes. Well, if you're wanting to try that blueberry muffin mix from Dollar Tree, give it a shot. It's really good. Excuse me. <laughs> so for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. May you all continue to stay blessed and beautiful along with those you love and care about. Until next time, ciao.